The Perfect Egg by Lan Ma, Danya Kelfa, Loretta Spraka, illustrated by Siming Ma. Once upon a time, there lived a poor boy named Jake. Jake raised chickens, and every day he would rise at the crow of the rooster and greet his chickens. Jake would lie in a grass to watch the chickens lay eggs. Good morning, my lovely chickens. How many eggs will you lay for me today? When Jake had collected a basket of eggs, he set his cart on the road to town and went off to the market to sell his eggs. My chickens laid perfect eggs today, thought Jake proudly. Meanwhile, a rich boy named Louis was not having a good day. He wanted the perfect eggs for a perfect omelette. Every day, he would drive his cooks crazy, wanting to taste the perfect omelette. No, no, no! I can't taste the eggs today. These are not the perfect eggs. He would say every day. One day, he demanded, "Bring the car." I will go to the market myself to find the perfect eggs. At the market, Louis approached poor Jake, sitting with his single basket of eggs. Looking at the eggs carefully, he asked, "How perfect are your eggs?" Jake rose to speak to the rich boy. "Perfect, sir," replied Jake. "Perfect like the rising sun, perfect." Asked Louis. Perfect like the rising sun. Perfect, answered Jake. Louis took out a bag of coins and set it on Jake's cart. I will give you all of this money to live at my house and raise chickens to lay perfect eggs for my perfect omelet. Louis offered quite seriously. But the eggs must be perfect. Jake accepted, knowing he could rise to the challenge. At Louis's house, Jake was offered all that he desired to help raise perfect chickens. I wish to stop rising at the crow of the rooster. It is so tiring, he told Louis. And I wish to stop lying in the grass. I have scratches all over," he added. "Staff, staff, staff!" Louis yelled. "Bring me some earplugs and set a chair in the hen house, or I shall not be able to taste perfect eggs." So, each night Jake set his new earplugs into his ears, and each day Jake tried to sit in his new chair. But the chickens still rose at the crow of the rooster, and the foxes kept Jake from sitting for an instant. Jake, Jake, Jake! Did you collect some perfect eggs? Louis demanded each day. Perfect like the rising sun, perfect. Perfect like the rising sun, perfect. Jake answered each day. Then I shall have the perfect omelet. Louis rejoiced. But not a single perfect egg was collected. Day after day, try as he would, Jake could not get the chicken to lay a perfect egg. He knew that the basket of perfect eggs he had sold to Louis was nearly used up. He longed for his simple life as a poor boy raising perfect chickens. One morning, when he rose, Jake announced that he would return to his home. To once again rise at the crow of the rooster and lie in the grass to watch his chickens lay their eggs. No, no, no! Screamed Louis, anger rising inside of him. How shall I have the perfect egg? Sir, Jake interrupted. You must stop raising your voice at me. I may not have much, but I have a gift, and I shall teach you to raise perfect chickens. If you can set aside your yelling and rise to the challenge, Louis looked down, ashamed of his behavior. 
He knew that Jake had something he did not. Perfect like the rising sun, perfect, sir. Louis asked, slowly and carefully. Perfect like the rising sun, perfect. Smiled Jake. The end.